Tonight on Old School. What do we look like? Well, you look like you're from the Muslim country. That's yeah. right. Be careful. Don't TT on your burqa. That's disrespectful. Well, that's an interesting view. Oh. What is that? La 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 Do you think I look sexy? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, dear. Do you leave your burqas on when you make love to your husband? In my day, Muslims were gorgeous guys riding on a camel through the desert. Oh, you mean like Omar Sharif and Lawrence of Arabia. Whoa. Terry, why do you suppose Muslims get such a bad rap in the press? You know, I don't think there's anything that I know less of than Muslims. You know, one thing I do not understand about it all, Gita, is Islam. You mean Muslim? What did I say? Islam. What's the difference? I think that we need to find out what Muslims are really all about. Are they heartthrobs? Are they terrorists or are they something else? Maybe they're just family guys. I think we need to do some exploring. I'm ready if you are. Let's go. Terry was married to a billionaire, a star of stage and screen. Gita was a model from across the sea. Grace and runways and magazines. We're on our way to meet Jermaine Jackson. Well, he's an old friend of yours, isn't he? Yes, all the way back in the 70s. Can you believe it? He's going to teach us all about the Muslim culture. Why? Is he a Muslim? Yes, he is. He converted. I saw them in Atlantic City when they were still the Will Maston trio. But no, no, said... no, that was Sammy Davis. Oh, that was Sammy Davis. Yes. You're right, it was. Yes. Wow, what is this? Is this something to drink out of? I think this is where you smoke. I yeah. wonder if they smoke hashish in these. Or grass? What do you think? That's, that's hashish. Oh, okay. <laughs> it shows you how much I know. Oh, that's how it works. I wonder what that is. They look like little... Ooh. Oops. They're hot. Do not touch them. You have to suck in really, really hard. Real hard? Real hard. Well, you're getting very good at this. Oh, wow. Oh, are you caught us? How are you? Jermaine, it's so good to see you. How did you become a Muslim? I was searching for something. And once I embraced Islam, the questions that I had, they all became complete. When you go to the Middle East and you see people praying five times a day, and you feel the peacefulness. That reminds me, what is that? La 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 <laughs> Does your wife have to wear those burqa things? Yes, what yes. I... That's to cover yourself. The reason why women cover themselves in Islam because to stop the temptation. Does your wife ever get nude? My oh. wife is very... <laughs> it's very she's, question. She's, no, no, she covers uh, up a lot. And maybe we should do a prayer and you all can, can see how, how people pray and dress. Oh, I would love that, please. Oh. What else can we do? You can go to the, the Muslim Center and, and get your prayer rugs and get, get your whole attire. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Is there any chance that you would do just one step or so for us? In our band, the Jackson Five, I played the bass. Michael, Marlon, and Jackie were the dancers. Like, I'm no moonwalker. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Jermaine, I can't believe we're going to have to pray five times Do a we? day. We? Well, that's the oh, discipline that's... of Islam. Oh. I'm looking forward to going to the mosque. Well, so am I, and learn how to pray. And... I wonder if it's going to be very different from when we kneel from the side of our bed as a child. I never did kneel at the side of the bed. I've been on my knees many times. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Somebody help us. Hi, ladies. Oh, my gosh. Any questions that you have, we'll be happy to help you. Right. We need prayer rugs and burqas. Come over here. All I right. can show you the burqas. Thank you. You All can right. pick one. They're really long and conservative. Oh, this one is 
is pretty. This one's beautiful, right? Yeah. What do you do when you go to yeah. the beach? And we have actually a really special outfit called a burkini. <laughs> do you know that I introduced the bikini to California? So you sure. should introduce the burkini to California. <laughs> do you think I look sexy? I can't comment on that. Well, those look beautiful on you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. So this is a prayer rug. They're to pray on. Is there any certain position you need to show us? There's different steps to prayer. I can show you them if you'd like. All right. We start by raising up our hands, and we say Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. This is when we bow down to the floor. Oh, my One knees are killing me. How can you do this all day? <laughs> All right, now, is this a, a special calendar? So this is not a calendar, it's a prayer clock. Oh! He's saying, Allahu Akbar, okay, Allahu okay. Akbar, which okay. means God is great, God is great. So it comes on five times a day to remind you when to pray. All right. Yeah. I'm kind of still deciding. You're not sure about it? We know this oh! one. Oh! It's just too darn hot. Oh. Oh! No, 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 please. Did we make you nervous? A little bit. Leave or we'll call the police. Lucy, how did you do that? Can we put it back together? Oh, look at that. You got it back together. It's all back together? It's all set. Thank you so much. Yes, sweetheart. It was wonderful. Thank you so much. You've been such a great teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. They were cute. Oh, not bad. I wonder how they go to the bathroom. I don't know, but Gita, it's just too darn hot. Oh, there. Well, that's an interesting view. <laughs> I don't know how Muslim women do it. I really have respect for them. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Gita, that's our first sign. We've got to pray. My seatbelt is stuck. Come on, we've got to pray. Grab your rug. It has to be northeast. You have to turn your thing around <laughs> so it points the other way, I think. All right. Oh, dear. Play with me, sweetheart. I can't bend that far. My belt is in the way. I'm getting a hernia. Well, that looks so pretty. I don't like mine near as well. Do you know? No. I feel purples are old colors. Well, we're not exactly young. Gita, as long as we're investigating Muslims, why don't you indulge me a little? Let's go ride some camels. <laughs> That's because you're still stuck on Omar Sharif in Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, he's so dreamy. He was gorgeous. Oh, was he ever. Oh, oh there's a oh, over, over there. Look. Can we drive in there? Oh, dear. I, I've got to use the bathroom. Do you think there's a bathroom around here, Terry? Ma'am? Are you the, the camel driver or whatever you want to call it? Yes. Can I help you with something? Uh, is there Captain. a restroom around here? Uh, oh, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go. Where are you going, Gita? Anywhere where I can have some privacy. Just go hide behind that tree, honey, and squat. Oh, okay. Be careful. Don't tee tee on your burqa. That's disrespectful. Oh, what a relief it is. Oh, oh. Oh, look at their feet. They're look, they have toes. camel toes. I haven't seen that before. Do you ride this one? Absolutely. Can you show us how? You want to learn how to ride the camel? Mm -hmm. It's a little bumpy. It. It's bumpy? It's a little bumpy. I'm not wearing any panties. Is that going to be a problem? Not for the camel. Oh. Are you guys ready to get on and take your ride? We'll no. try. Yeah, we'll try. So right now, she'll get down. We call it a cush. Uh-huh. Oh. oh, boy. He'll talk to you and let you know that he's there, but it's just a communication. Oh my gosh, his legs are awfully long. The hardest part, part is getting up and down. Throw your leg over, hold on here. Oh. He's not going to get up, right? Maybe. No. Uh, get on now. Yep, and that's it. Oh, he doesn't like me. Oh, no, 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 please. No. This, this is no. Not Do you feel like a Muslim from Lawrence of Arabia now? No, I feel like an idiot. How did you learn? 
match your sunglasses to your outfit. That's amazing. Really? Thank you. You know what, Gita? I want to go to LAX airport and go up to people and ask them questions and see if they treat us with respect or if we scare them. Well, this is going to be a novel experience. It's a novel experience already. Yeah, but this will be even more strange. Let's just see what happens. It went, it went off. It oh, yeah, yeah, it went off. Here, take it, grab it, grab it. Mm -hmm. Hurry, Gita. So time for the prayers. Come okay. on, are you ready? Oh. Okay. Boy, are you agile. Oh. Come on, Terry, it's enough already. To me, I want to have enough time to be respectful, Gita. I yeah, think that's I know, the most I important know. thing of all, is to show our respect. Let's see how these people react when we see us. They we looked at us but ignored us like yeah. we weren't here. Did you notice that? What do we look like? Well, you look like you're from a Muslim country. That's yeah. right. Did we make you nervous? A little bit. Whatever you're selling, I'm not interested. We're not selling anything. Just leave. Why? Because I'm wearing a burqa? Leave or call the police. Do you have the hookah? I've got the cup. Yeah. Where you got the hookah? Okay. okay. So I can't wait to see how you're going to eat with that thing covering your mouth. We said that people are prejudiced against Muslims. No, whatever you are, leave us alone. Wow, I can't believe the type of prejudice that a Muslim goes through. Do we look at a danger to you? No, you don't strike me as such. You strike me as having excellent taste and color coordination, though. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Do we look like terrorists? <laughs> Anybody could be a terrorist. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. Anybody can be. Mm. So tough. Oops. Have you got the key? It's not in any of my pockets. Oh, dear. What did you do with the keys? I don't know. I think I lost them. I had them in my pocket, and I can't find them. Oh, my goodness. There they are. Oh, 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 oh. We've drawn more attention to ourselves now than with the entire time that we were in the airport. Gita, did you hear me? It's acting like it's... I, oh, I found the right button. OK. I wonder what it's going to be like going to the mosque. Is he nice to do this for us? Yeah, very nice. I think that is so nice. Oh, Gita, I'm getting the butterflies in my stomach. You are? Yes. Well, you have a very sensitive stomach. Well, this is my wife, Halima. Halima, Hi. so nice Hi. to meet you. Nice oh, you are beautiful. Thank you. Yes, Hi. you are. What is that moaning? It's brilliant. He, he's it's reading the Quran. Is it in Arabic? It's in Arabic. No. Oh, it's a tough oh. language. Yes. Oh. <laughs> is she doing it right? No. We do pray separately, the women on this side and the men on this what? side. Why is that? So the women don't distract the men. Well, we wouldn't distract anybody. Dear brothers and sisters, there are verses in the Quran. He's just preaching right now before we start praying. Oh, he's doing it in English? Yeah. Yes. So there are people who don't speak uh, Arabic here. Everybody's so. not oh, Arab. Speak Arabic. Arabic. Yeah. Let us take, for example, 
case. And we give the Quranic medicine to that issue. You might take something while it is good. So I tell that. Then I replace hate with love. You saw what Islam was all about today. You got a chance to pray. It's a very peaceful yes. religion. Yes, and that's Ima. what they spoke about Excuse the entire me, I just time. Want to tell him a terrible oh. thing that I did. Um, that iman was very boring, and I fell asleep. You know something? You could have held that back and not told him that. Well, I know. I'm being honest. I know, I'm being honest. He was yes. very okay. droning. We, we heard you snore, honey. Was we knew right, you were asleep. Right? But the <laughs> message was clear, right? I mean, the message was most important. Yes. To me, the message was very yeah. clear. Yeah. And yeah. I felt it. And he said that that. Terry, your cell phone went off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited to meet this family and tell them of all of our adventures. Will all they the believe it? Them? Probably not. So the next thing Jermaine has us doing is meeting a real Muslim family. Hopefully, we will not embarrass ourselves. Yeah. Do you have the hookah? Do you have the hookah? I've got the cup. Where's you got the hookah? OK. okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. Well, you're going to meet the rest of the family now. All right. And the men don't shake hands. OK. OK. okay. Welcome. Thank you. We feel so welcome. My name is Ahmed. Hi, Ahmed. Yes. And Mohammed. And this is my dad. Okay. Sorry, sir, but I cannot shake your hand tonight. <laughs> my sister-in-law. Hello. My How do you do? Aisha. It's very seductive when you see someone with a veil like that. Well, we wear this for protective reasons, actually, not to seduct anyone. It's also scary because you feel that you can see right through me and that I can't really see you. Let us help you. I'm a cook, you know, so I'm very interested to find out how to do this. This is falafel. This is a vegetarian. Falafel? OK. Do the men ever do any of the cooking, or do the Absolutely. women do all the work? In our family, the men love to cook. This is hot, so I'm going to take just one thing in. So you tell me what's winking at you. That's an expression in Arabic All right. for what looks good. Hummus and uh, baba ganoush. Okay. The bread well, here's the hummus. <laughs> So I can't wait to see how you're going to eat with that thing covering your mouth. The well, you're not going to have to wait very long. <laughs> I'm very interested to know, what is the difference between Muslim and Islam? Islam is a verb, and it means to submit and to obey Almighty God. And whoever does this act is considered a Muslim. So we're considered Muslims. Because you do that. Because we do that. I'd be very interested to know do you have to leave your burqas on when you make love to your husband? In your travels, in your life, have you come to know any terrorists? very interested to know, do you have to leave your burqas on when you make love to your husband? Um, the reason why they wear it is mm -hmm. because they're in front of, I guess you can, we'll label it as strange men or men outside the mean I can take this off? We're family, aren't we? Oh, yeah, so I can take, so take, oh, yeah, so can take this off? It's so it's hot. Yeah. In your travels, in your life, have you come to know any terrorists? I would say that the answer would be absolutely not. The media always connects the two words, so it's, it becomes one word, Muslim terrorist. I mean, you're, you're, you're going from peace to terrorism. The two don't mix. Have you tried mixing oil and water together? Yeah. It doesn't happen. It happened to my gas tank yes. once, but it was an accident. <laughs> How did they take such a beautiful religion and twist it so? We have an expression. We say that Islam is perfect, but the people are not. I came into this with a lot of misconceptions, and I'm ashamed of it. Last year, my youngest daughter got married, and she's trying to have a baby now, so that's a very exciting thing. Which part? <laughs> the trying? <laughs> well, I guess. I guess. You know, when I started this, I thought that all Muslims were terrorists. Now, do you watch movies or anything in the evenings? Sometimes. Depends if there's ice cream and popcorn or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've learned that the Muslim religion doesn't preach hate. They're really very loving people. 
everyone. This has been such a treat for us and to meet you all and to share this wonderful meal with yes. you. I, I had such, you're trying to say something? Yes, I found that all of my prejudices, they are all gone now because I realized that Muslims are peace-loving people and unfortunately, they are not the ones that get the news. Oh, oh look at the baby. Oh. Baby, oh, let's see the baby. Can I hold it? Oh, well, you can't touch him. You can't touch her either. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> You know, that little Muslim baby was so cute. I just hope that when he grows up, it's going to be a more peaceful world. Do you think we'd pass as a Muslim? You guys are off to the right track. Because the number one trait is wanting to find out the truth, and that's only done by asking questions. The one way you know you're really a Muslim is what's in your heart. Oh! Is that our clock? That's your clock. Oh, is it time for prayer? It's time for prayer. <laughs> you know, they're just regular people that I'll always remember and hold dear to my heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Uh, look, look, look. You want to check out more of our crazy adventures? Go to oldschool.vh1.com. No, 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 no. I want to try it. No. no. Welcome to the world famous Laugh Factory. Let's hear it for Tisa Hami. I'm a Muslim. I don't like a lot of noise. <laughs> you might be wondering why I'm dressed like this. And uh, it's because I'm Muslim. And, you know, to be honest, though, I should be wearing a long coat. But I was feeling kind of slutty today. <laughs> sassy, a little sassy, naughty, want to show a little leg. <laughs>